Welcome to Connected Media Europe at BVE 2018. I'm joined by Michael Armstrong, VP of Sales, EMEA Bitmovin. Lovely to talk to you. And you. What is the latest in encoding technology from Bitmovin? So with Bitmovin, we've developed a, a cloud encoding platform that's very flexible. It works in the public cloud and private cloud. And that flexibility gives us the ability to develop interesting new technologies, um, one of which is per title encoding. So we're finding that a lot of uh, pay TV operators and content owners have different types of content, some of which have different complexities. So mm. sports content is more complex to encode than cartoons, for example. So we can actually tailor the output formats to be able to give better quality for lower bit rates based on the, the type of content that you're encoding. Mm. And that allows operators to be able to tune the encoding on a per title basis and make sure that the end consumer gets the best quality that they can. We can also use that quality information to actually provide more information to the player side with our player to be able to actually adapt the, the bit rates that are being used in a more smart manner. So we have people that can then watch the content yeah. in lower bit rates mm -hmm. and in more challenging situations because the player can actually adapt based on the quality that they were seeing rather than necessarily the, the bandwidth that's available. And what are we seeing on the AV1 front? So with AV1, uh, we're seeing a lot of people interested in Apple's move into the alliance of open media, trying to, the, to understand whether that is purely a strategic option for them or whether it's really because they are adapting that for the future. It was a very quiet uh, adoption, but it means that the fragmentation that we're seeing in the market with the adoption of HEVC versus VP9 could potentially be solved by AV1. We personally are seeing very good performance improvements with AV1. It's about 30% better quality for the same bit rate versus HEVC or VP9. Right. And that hopefully be, will, will be finalized in Q1, the standard for that, and we will be uh, making that available for our customers uh, in Q2. And and is Bitmovin jumping on the AI and the machine learning bandwagon? The real buzzwords this year at BVE. And and if you are, how can these technologies? Um, what are, how are they relevant in streaming? In, in the context of streaming. Well, really, also with AI and machine learning is very useful when it comes to actually being smarter about the encoding itself. So, typically, people would previously have had standard bit rates and use the standard resolutions and all content gets encoded for those standard resolutions. But that's yeah. not really understanding the best use of how to use the bits available for any particular piece of content. Mm -hmm. So we're using machine learning for our per type encoding and we're using that for our special three pass encoding mm -hmm. in order to provide the best quality and the best distribution of bits for every piece of content. So again, get the best quality at the lowest bandwidth for consumers, so consumers get a better service, be it 4K at home and TV, or even if it's just on a mobile device. Yeah. Well, um, obviously it's a very busy and exciting time at Bitmovin with all of this um, this development um, and the kind of growth in the company. We wish you the best of luck over the next 12 months. Do come back and tell us more next year. We will. Thank you.